Who's ready? All right. Let me get everything set up. I haven't posted about Lady Polar Bear's victory. Let me do that real quick. All right, let's do this. We ready? TNT Mania Night 2, baby. Let's go. Get some hype going in the chat, please. Hype it up. Hyper, hyper. We're kicking it off the way we like. I'm gonna crack open my other monster. TNC Mania. Let's go. Welcome back, Diver. Just in time for show two of TNC Mania. Ain't happening, Lost. Ain't happening. Show two. I found you. Jesus Christ. I found you has shown up. The first Twitch champion of season four. I found you. All that hype. I love seeing all that hype. <laughs> Don't tell me future endeavored him. I'm going to be showing off the future endeavors. I'm going to be leaving the memories alone. <laughs> Eight Woman Battle Royal featuring Jess, Uff Babes, Jennifer Barham, Nero TNC Mum, Alicia Landis, Queen Rowcroft, E.T. Burr, and Glock. Coming up next, Jess with 500 biddies. Thank you, Jess. I really appreciate that. Jess about to come out first in this Eight Woman Battle Royal. Thank you, Copper, for the tweet. Thank you, Lost Lauren, for the tweet. Yo, lost the one gifted the subs. I found you, 627. I found you. Welcome back to the TNC. Lost on you are the man of the hour. Too sweet to be sour. Funky like a monkey. And the brand new TNC champion. Thank you very much, Lost Thorin. I found you. Welcome back, dude. Uff babes, thank you for the tweet. Much appreciated, Uff. And here comes Jess, the Miami Slice. From Miami, Florida, Jessica. The Booker Man's girlfriend. Miami Slice, Jess, making her way to the ring. Kicking off show two right. Enjoy those emotes, I found you. Thank you, Lost Lion. Thank you very much, dude. We're at 144 subs. Six away, guys. Six away from 150. And her opponent first. From Birmingham. Yup. Maybe I shouldn't future endeavor him. Maybe I shouldn't future endeavor him. I found you gets 10 subs to the community. Those go to Magic Freak, Mr. Baselines, SAFC Harter, Filzy, King Goat, Goatota, Nelesem, Big Layton, H, Hakuna Matata, and Drinky. Welcome to the TNC, guys. Thank you so much, I found you, for the 10 gifted subs. Holy sh... 
Schnikes. Thank you so very much. If you got a sub, please thank the man himself. I found you. Also, get yourself a wrestler. Sunday Afternoon Wrestling returns for Season 5 in about 3 to 4 weeks time. March 8th, we will be kicking it off with Wrestler Creations all week until we do Day 1. That's Sunday. I can't think of what the date is. Maybe the 15th. I, I don't know. I, I can't work it out. I'm not smart like that right now. Anyway. No, the 13th. It's the 13th. I worked it out. Day 1. TNC Day 1 happens March 13th. Get yourself a wrestler form submitted so that you can be a wrestler in season five and you can be used for day one. And, <coughs> Jennifer, the queen and here comes Jennifer Barham. Jennifer Barham making her way to the ring. Must be feeling sore for herself after her daughter lost the TNC Women's title in the main event of night one. But she could earn her way to a TNC Women's Championship shot if she wins this battle royale here tonight. This is the culmination of season four, ladies and gentlemen. 35 weeks of hard work, energy, effort. Creativity, interactivity, performance, sweat, blood, and tears. Get out love going in the chat, please. We put a lot of effort into this. Not just myself, not just Gears, but everybody who's created promos that has helped Soon with the booking committee. Man come to give us matches we could have won. One day when the match is done, we'll take our money and go. Anyone that has done anything to help support the show from top to bottom. Thank you so very much, everyone. I said this earlier, I'll say it again. I thought I heard the booker man say, pin him, Cooper, pin him. Tomorrow you will get your pay, but for now you've got to pin him. Thank you, Copper. Copper is, is a man. A great man. And here comes Nero TNC Mom. Looking to put a hurt in on her opponents. The Booker Mom is here. I do do things that isn't just Sunday afternoon wrestling. I, I, I play a lot of games. A lot of Fortnite at the minute, but I play a lot of games. Update my sub count. How do I do that? I have to do this. And then this. And here is the former TNT Women's Champion now. She will delete you. Wrestling is a big part of my life. I used to be a pro wrestler. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. My, I, I need to get back to the, uh, the doctors tomorrow. Alicia, the warrior princess. Looking to earn a rematch at day one for the women's title. Pardon me. It's frozen again. No way. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I found you. That sucks, man. What's been going on, dude? You always seem to be in like uh, getting injured or something, don't you? I found you. Queen Rowcroft, former TNC Women's Champion, F-A-B-U-L-O-U-S, yes! Queen Rowcroft, looking to scale her way to the top of the mountain tops again. Queen Rowcroft, fabulous.
I don't put out with my community. I love my community. You guys are my family. I love that we hit uh, 155 subs. I'm so happy. Thank you. I found you. Bets have ended. Uh, it, there's no bets in this match because there's just too many, too many variables. Of uh, Jenny, sorry. Yeah, sorry, Jenny. Uh, hey, hey, welcome back, Flute. How's it going? Flute, are you my mum's boyfriend? I'm putting you on the spot right now, Flute. Are you my mum's boyfriend? Am I going to have to have words with you? Yeah, flute. Yeah, come on, everybody. Everybody scrutinize and question flute. E.T. E. E. Burr making her way to the ring. <laughs> E.T. Burr. Mrs. Copper Dragon. I need to change that emote. Remind me tonight to change that emote I found you. Send me a message in Discord. Just be like, change that Santa emote now. I'll get oofed on it. Oofed. We need, we need a new emote, oofed. We need a new emote. Money is ink. Get yourself a character for the next season, man. Season five. I know you told me weeks ago, but I'm bad at remembering things, of babes. What do I want? Something wrestling related. What can we have wrestling related, guys? Chair? A steel chair? Here comes Glock. Making her way to the ring now. Why are you all spamming Nero Santas? It's not Christmas. That's already a thing, YK. <laughs> How have you not seen? Hold on, where is it? I can't even see my own emotes. Where's my... Somebody do exclamation mark. Yeah. <laughs> and here we go, the eight woman battle royal. And Jess is taking it to Alicia Landis. E.T. Burr and Glock going at it. Nero T and Simon working on Uff Babes and Jennifer Barham and Queen Rowcroft. Friends outside the ring. Going at it right now. Inside the ring. Single arm suplex there by Queen Rowcroft. Suplex into the key crusher by Glock. Uff Babes and Nero T and Simon, the Booker Mom, firing it out. Firing back and forth. Jess getting pulled out of the corner hard way. Remember, the winner of this match will go on to day one of season five and fight for the TNC women's title. Whoever that may be. Lady Polar Bears. Or Kelly Kelly. Nero TNC Mom and Uff Babes going back and forth in the ring. The Booker Mom taking it to the Brummy Uff Babes. But you know, Uff has been trained by a cousin, Pete Dunn. Spin and heel kick by Jennifer Barham on Queen Rowcroft. And the moonsault, standing moonsault by Jennifer, the Queen B Barham. <coughs> Excuse me. Jess with a front face lock on Alicia Landis. Spin out by uh, Alicia Landis. Alicia Landis going for the scoop. Takes it to the ropes and a hang woman off the top rope. Glock. Has got E.T. Burr locked up in all sorts of trouble.
head of the table near as an emote. Look closer, copper. Two count only. <laughs> God damn it, copper. <laughs> it's hard to call this one. Twist of fate on Jess. A cover on Jess and the referee's just turning a blind eye. Referee's going for the cover now. One, two. Jess kicks out. And a backbreaker by Nero TNC Mom. Glock getting hit with the sunset flip. Back Sammer. Nero TNC Mom with the one, two. The elbow off the top by Nero TNC Mom. Drop kick by Jennifer the Queen B Barham. Jawbreaker by Alicia Landis on Jess. Right hand by Alicia Landis. She sends her into the ropes. Misses that back elbow. Lock goes down to the mat. This is carnage. This is insane. Bangarang by Glock on E.T. Burr. There's a side effect by Jennifer Barham on Qu Queen Rowcroft. Jess Irish whips. And Lufez presses. This is insane. There's so many things going on. Nero TNC Mom has got the Boston Crab locked in. The Boston Crab on Uff Babes. Uff Babes powers out of it though. using that leg strength. She did get double pregnant. She could get double ass holy. I don't even know what I'm saying. I was trying to say something witty. It didn't come out right. Queen Rowcroft has been eliminated by Jennifer Barham. <laughs> oh my god. Saito suplex by E.T. Burr on Jennifer Barham. I don't know of babes. I was trying to I was trying to say something funny and it didn't come out right. It didn't come out right. Oh, snap German by Glock. One, two. Oh, kick out by E.T. Burr. Jess sends Alicia Landis into the corner. Swats her down to the mat. And hits the split leg moonsault on Alicia Landis. Nero TNC Mom's head gets rammed up against the ropes. Alicia Landis kicks out at two. Uff Babes now kicking ass, taking names. E.T. Burr has been eliminated by Jennifer Barham. Jennifer Barham has been the MVP of this match. And now she's taking it to her own daughter. Jennifer Barham throws Alicia Landis on the ropes. Swats her down. And a knee to the sternum. Jawbreaker. Nero TNC Mom kicks out. Right hand by Glock to Jess. And another straight right. Nip up Hurricane Rana there by Jess. Uff T. Uff T babies. Right hand. Now going for the bitter end on Nero TNC Mom. Bitter end. Goes for the cover. One. Two. Three, and Nero TNC Mom has been eliminated. The Booker Mom is out. Jess, is she is she submitting? No, Jess is fighting out of that submission. Jennifer Barham has got the submission locked in on Alicia Landis. Of Babes turns Jess around. Irish whips her into the ropes. Oh, she, she was trying to military press her. Twist of fate by Alicia Landis to her own mom. One, two... Three. Jennifer Barham has been eliminated. Block paired off with Alicia Landis. Uff Babes and Jess going at it. <coughs> Cover by Alicia Landis. Block moves out. Kicks out. German suplex to Jess. That surgically repaired back of Jess. Miami Slice gets clotheslined. Front face lock into the jawbreaker on Glock. And Uff Babes just stomping away at the body of Jess. Arm ringer. Into the back suplex. Into the neck breaker. Lovely maneuver there by Glock. Glock only gets the two count on Alicia Landis. The former women's champion. 
Jess now going for the Bulldog on T. Alicia Landis taunting her way to the top again. Swanton Bomb by Jess to Uff T. There's a side effect on Glock. Uff T has been eliminated. Jess eliminates Uff T. Oh, zigzag. And now being stalked is Jess Kick. Twists of fate. Oh, it connects. Jess kick out, kick out, kick out. Jess kicks out. Oh, back elbow by Alicia Landis. Irish whip. Hard Irish whip. Into the snap, German. That could be it. One. Two. Oh, kick out by Alicia Landis. Block picks up Alicia. Kick. Oh, Jess breaks up the attempt. And now going for the head scissors. DDT. Glock picking up Alicia. Alicia with the with the arm drag. And to the ropes. Oh, misses a drop kick to Jess. Nero TNC mom says she was robbed. The Booker mom. Oh, crash and burn. Mom, we need we need to get you to cut a promo for next season. And now Alicia Landis up high into the oh, the backbreaker. Into the gut buster. Jess now front face lock on Glock. Glock spins out. Breaks up the connection. Jess with the bulldog on top of Alicia. Jess now up to the top rope. Swanton on Glock. Cover. One. Two. Three. No, a kick out. A two. A two. That's all it was. It was only a two. Alicia pushes Jess away. Irish whips Jess into the corner. Tries to grab her from afar. Spinning heel kick misses. Right hand by Alicia. Breakout kick by Jess. The Miami Slice. Irish whips. Alicia Landis off the ropes. But Glock's there. Glock going for the pulling pile driver. Ah! Kick. Twists of fate coming for Jess. That's it. That's it. One. Two. Three. Alicia Landis has pinned Jess. And now she's hit the referee. <coughs> Alicia Landis and Glock. Alicia, the former champ. Glock, the wild card. There's the side effect. Ramming the arm of Glock on the mat. Kick. Twist of fate on Glock. Is that going to be enough? She hooks the outside leg. One, two, three. Alicia Landis redeems herself. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, guys. Here is your winner, the Warrior Princess. Alicia Landis making her way back to the top. You'd put all of her promos to shame. Well, then you got to do it, Mom. You got to do it. Come, come and... We'll sort out a promo. If you come and have dinner at mine sometime this week, Mum, we'll uh, we'll sort out promos, yeah? For day one, for, for season five. Up next is the sellout championship as Charlie Boy looks to take on McFoogle. <coughs> Thank you, Meniz.
stretch and hydrate. I'll uh, I'll hydrate, but I won't stretch. I'll redi I'll, I'll I'll give back all the stretches, but I'm I want to get through TNC Mania to uh, give my give my chest a rest when I do finish. Thank you, Eagles, though. Shoddy boy making his way to the ring for a sellout title shot. Do you want to make sure I'm not too stationary? Hey, have you filled out the form, Mum? Have you filled out the saw form yet for season five? Fill out the form, Mum. I'll create you the way you tell me to create you. Kind of. <coughs> Mum, when when have you ever? When have you ever shied away from being dramatic, Mother? When have you ever shied away from being dramatic and having the camera focus on you, mother? Huh? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, copper. We don't do... We don't... We don't do, uh... Freebies here in the TNC. We don't do freebies here in the TNC. No handouts, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm at Fubles. The fan favorite. Does not want to have a short reign here. <laughs> God damn it, Mom. Probably deserved it, the little shit. <laughs> Fuck you, my faves. It's the first time I've swore today. Well, probably not, but damn it. I didn't want to swear. I didn't want to swear, damn it. McFoobles, the sellout title looks good. I'm McFoobles. I'm not biting. Arr! I'm not biting. I'm not biting. McFoobles the champ. He does not want to be a paper champion. Does McFoobles. He wants to continue his sellout championship reign here tonight. Johnny boy, the ginger ninja. Introducing the champion from Huntsville, Alabama, weighing in at 224 pounds. He is the million dollar champion, the mouth of the South, McCarthy McDonald McGregor. McFoobal. That's not that's not skincare routine, white arable. He is the sweatiest man in the TNC. Even sweatier than Nero TNC himself. Which is pretty hard to be sweatier than me, I I I, I assure you. Some say he sweats gravy. 
Why, McFoobles, what's your toes been marinating in this evening? Charlie Boy looking for his first bit of gold here in the TNC Season 4. Will he end Season 4 the same way he ended Season 3 with a championship around his waist? McFoobles with the arm ringer. Dropping it over the shoulder. McFoobles pushing him back to the ropes. And McFoobles being broken up apart. Side headlock. I don't want to see that flute. I don't want to see you flirting with my mother while I'm streaming. Thank you very much. High angle wrist lock in the trip to Chuddy Boy. And a hurricane runner taking down Chuddy. European uppercut. Atomic drop. And a big back body drop there by McFoobal. Uh, to McFoobal, so. Sorry. Big right hand by Chuddy Boy. Chuddy Boy. Gets Irish whipped into the corner. Goes face first. Went for a clothesline flute. I thought you would like that. No, flute. No. God damn it. Nero TNC mom is granny to Finley. Reverse DDT by McFoobal. Jess just gifted a sub to Flute. Flute, welcome to the TNC. Jess, you are the woman of the hour. Too sweet to be sour funky like a monkey and the brand new TNC champion. Flute. Welcome to the TNC. Get yourself a wrestler created. Fill out the form. Do it. There you go, Jenny. That's the commitment we want to see. Jenny will be part of Season 5. Back kick by Charlie Boy to McFoobal. McFoobal with the Hurricane Runner. We're fighting it out on the outside. Charlie Boy just thrown from one end of the arena to the other. Nice one, Flute. Please thank Jess for gifting you a sub, Flute. Lost Thora and fill out that form, homie. I made you a logo and everything. Back suplex by McFoobal. Stomp to the arm. And another stomp to the arm. Charlie Boy struggling now with McFoobal as he goes up to the top rope. What's up, my sock? Good to see you, buddy. And off the top rope with the Hurricane Runner, Diving Hurricane Runner. He doesn't taste the toes, but he does get hit with the Diving Hurricane Runner. Stomp to the arm. You see what you do. One count. Kick out. Elbow to the cranium of Chuddy Boy. And a leg drop to the leg of Chuddy. Chopping down the tree trunk like leg. The limbs of Chuddy Boy. Everyone's the same size when they're fighting from their back. And McFoobal goes up top now. TNC Mania Night 2. Chuddy getting to his feet. McFoobal turns around. Taste the toes. Chuddy Boy gets some toes to the mouth. Side headlock takedown. McFoobal just grinding down. The mohawked, mustachioed man. He's not got a mustache. McFoobal's got a mustache. I'm just saying words now. It's been a long day. I was up at 5 o'clock this morning with my son. I had to travel on a bus for three hours. It was exhausting and painful. And now I'm here. Three hours and 24 minutes into the stream. Shouting about Polish hammers as McFoobal pounds on his chest. As he's about to make Chuddy Boy taste these toes. Bro kick. Go for the cover, McFoobal. He hooks the outside leg. One. Two. Th oh, kick out my Chuddy. Can you believe it? For Wilbert, Hillbilly John shouting from the back. As he pounds away. 
Charlie went out of the ring, gets back in the ring, hits an atomic drop on McFubles. McFubal collapses to the floor. Up to the pickup, throat fuss, and a running STO. And McFubal rolls to the outside. Why is he rolls to the outside? As Chuddy is starting to gain momentum. Chuddy follows in. McFubal goes for the right hand and knocks McFubal to the outside. Fully to the outside, I should say. Elbow. Chuddy with another right hand. And look at McFubal just collapse one knee. Chuddy dictating the pace of this matchup now. It's Chuddy rams the head of McFubal up against the apron. That's the hardest part of the ring, folks. We're up to the count of five. Chuddy cannot win the title on the outside. We're up to the count of six. He hits the shin breaker on McFubal. Got to be smarter about this, Chuddy. He does. He throws him back in the ring and gets in before the count of eight. Big right hand. Left hand. Left hand. I know my left and right. Chuddy boy now stalking McFubal. McFubal, the fan favorite, is about to get jackknifed right out of those leg warmers. You can't call them boots, they're leg warmers. Jackknife power bomb by Chuddy. Cover, deep cover, hooks the outside leg. One, two. McFubal kicks out. McFubal now rallying, rallying behind the fans as they get behind him and try to will him to beat Chuddy boy in this matchup. Chuddy boy with an elbow drop. Charlie Boy says that's all, but McFubal comes back with a jawbreaker. McFubal goes behind German suplex ruffles in the way. McFubal now going for the, the Bailey Plex. There it is. And he throws the hands up in the air. He goes for the cover now after the Bailey Plex. One, two. Charlie Boy kicks out. Bill Billy John wants his partner to succeed here in singles comp competition here. Eat the toes and Chuddy is busted wide open. The red clashes with the ginger, but it's okay because this ginger bastard dinosaur has been put away. McFubal is your sellout champion and retains into season five as your sellout champion. Congratulations, McFubal. You are the first champion that is guaranteed their role as a champion leading into season five congratulations McFubal commiserations Johnny boy eat the toes the food is making bank today apparently congratulations McFubals marinate those toes and garlic today he's so happy to be sellout champion and he deserves it what a season McFubal has had from incredible promos to incredible feuds incredible matches for Wilbert the pig McFubal has had a hell of a season congratulations on two title reigns here in the TNC season 4 of Sunday Afternoon Wrestling McFubal's up next, the TNC Women's Championship is on the line. As some would say, the rightful TNC champion, women's champion, Kelly Kelly, takes on the new women's champion, Lady Polar Bears. Who will come out on top? As these women fight the supremacy here at TNC Mania. The Victory Royale winner, Lady Polar Bears, is now your new TNC Women's Champion. How long will she have held it for? 
at the end of this match we will see. And here she comes, ladies and gentlemen, the former four-time TNT Women's Champion. No one's done it as many times as Kelly Kelly, AKP, if you will. AKP, Kelly Kelly, the most decorated woman in TNT history. Some would say the rightful TNT Women's Champion. A miscommunication from the referee from which at TNT Isolation Chamber caused Kelly Kelly to lose that TNC Women's Championship. Lady Povez, last show, TNC Mania Night 1, defeated Alicia Landis for that Women's Championship. This match is the culmination of everything we've been building towards here on Season 4. Lady Povez, the special attraction. AKP, the veteran. Let's see how Lady Povez looks with that brand new championship. But look at that. She doesn't even wear it around her waist. She holds it high above her head. She is ecstatic to be TNT Women's Champion. And I don't think she's going to let go that easily. Lady Polar Bears towers above the competition. Some say she's having height reduction surgery for next season. Lady Polar Bears, will she be going into Season 5 as TNT Women's Champion? The Primal Stream. Who will defend the TNT Women's Championship against Alicia Landis at Day 1 of Season 5? No, you cannot. You cannot time out with Fubles. He's too, too wholesome of a man. Too wholesome of a man, damn it. TNT Women's Championship is on the line, ladies and gentlemen. Introducing the challenger from Los Angeles, California, AKP. AKP has been there through thick and thin for the Booker Man. She is. I'll, I'll get to that point in a second. She is the women's champion. The villain, Lady Destroyer. Lady Polar Bears. Newcomer to season four. But as I was saying, Kelly Kelly, the season long veteran since season one, AKP, has been a dominant force in the fighting females division. The women's title looks great on Kelly Kelly. Will it go back home at the end of this matchup? Oh, a <laughs> clothesline attempt from Kelly Kelly. A spin out kick to the midsection. Hurricane Rana attempt was missed by Lady Polar Bears. Irish went to the corner. And now, oh, look, look at the strength of Kelly Kelly. Look how she lifts. That tall Lady Polar Bear is up like that. The bell has sounded and we are away. Kelly Kelly showing her dominance already. Commentator's curse. Speaking of curses, Lady Polar Bears with a reverse DDT Scorpion Death Drop. Kick to the spine. And now the knee drop across the chest. Kelly Kelly. A clear fan favorite in this matchup. She elbows Lady Polar Bears. Ducks one from Lady Polar Bears, but gets caught on the second time around. Elbow. Lady Polar Bears gets caught with a jawbreaker. And a big close on. That time it connects. Lariato, if you will. Kelly Kelly pulling on the arm. Lady Polar Bears. This match is a slow burner, that's for sure. There's the cover. There's a one. It's not even a one count. Lady Polar Bears showing her strength as she kicks out. Snapmare takeover to Kelly Kelly. And a rear chin lock now. The crowd are slow to get behind this matchup. I think we need some hyper hyper in the chat. 
Let's see who you guys have got. I can't, I can't see the predictions. I want to see in chat who you guys have got in this matchup. The dominant force that is Lady Polar Bears or the ever-present. Ever-present, ever-consistent Kelly Kelly. Will Kelly Kelly make it five championship reigns? Lady Polar Bears up top. Going for an elbow and misses. Kelly Kelly too wise. She takes her down. She, she rolls her up. What? Oh, rope break. That could have been something there. Back elbow by Lady Polar Bears. Lady Polar Bears with a scoop. And a follow away slam. Styling and profiling our way into season five. If you haven't yet filled out your TNC Sunday afternoon wrestling form and you are a sub, please do so. I want to see us have at least 30 submissions by the end of today. 30 submissions is what I want to see. We've got 29 right now. A cover. Pick up by Lady Polar Bears and ramming her head back to the canvas. And the page turner. I just saw who the latest person to do that uh, form is. And that's made me really happy. Arm um, wrench. Trying to tear it out of the socket right there. And now, locking Kelly Kelly into the submission. The PTO. The PTO. The submission is locked in. But Kelly Kelly somehow got the ropes, even though her legs and arms are all tied up. She somehow got the ropes. She must use her teeth to grab the rope. She goes behind. Big gut butt, sir. Yes, I, I did see it, YK. I did see that you're there. We've got 29 submissions right now. Plus, my character that I'm making, Fallen's character, Gears' character, Tempe's character, Larvin's character. That's like 34, 35 submissions already. So we're going to have a full and fantastic day one premium live event when season five rolls around March 13th. Mark it in your calendars, guys. The return of Sunday afternoon wrestling. Although, starting March 8th, I'll be creating characters all week long on NeroTNC.tv. And now, Kelly Kelly locking those long limbs of Lady Polar Bears up in a submission. Lady Polar Bears fighting with all she's got to get out of it. Like, she, she looks like a spider. Yes, you did, McFoobles. I believe you did, anyway. Scoop and down the back goes Kelly Kelly. I thought you did, King Cooper. You've done your character, haven't you? Running knee lift to... Kelly Kelly, and then a go behind German suplex and a cover. One, two, the bridge. Gears would have to check that for me right now, uh, Foob or Cooper. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, can you create your own character? If you get in the game, you can, King Cooper. Yeah. If you get in the game, you can. Of course you can. Kelly Kelly going for the glam slam. On Lady Polar Bears, the Glam Slam. She goes for the cover on the tall superstar. One, two, three. Kelly Kelly's done it again. Five time. Five time. Five time. Five time. I don't know how many five times I said, but five times. TNC, women's champion. Kelly Kelly has done it again. The rightful champion. Normalcy has resumed. AKP has returned to the top of the mountain. Jelly Kelly 
Can somebody write in um, Discord to Demonic Gecko that we're still live? And Stiff. Who's fighting today? The rest of the card is CM Chris versus Starfjord. Booker Man and Coops versus the Vibe Tribe. Fallen versus Gears. And Lavatar versus YK Honorable. You had a match. You were the first match today, my sock. You were the first match today, buddy. Thank you, Coops the Dragon. Nice one, Eagles. That's 30. Awesome. Starfjord earned his way here. CM Chris won his championship. Who's going to be victorious in this Twitch championship match? Did you lose? Yes, my sock, you did. I think you had a good showing, though, in the uh, in the eight-man battle royal. So let me just uh, like put something into perspective for you guys. This season, season four... I created 81 wrestlers, give or take, 81 wrestlers. Each wrestler takes about an hour to an hour and a half to make. That's about a hundred hours of content I've put into creating wrestlers on Sunday afternoon wrestling. Outside of that, I do photoshops for logos for people. I love doing this. I love the commentary. I love the interactivity. I love everything that you guys put, bring to this and that I can bring to this for you. If I haven't put in 110% effort in your character, that's when you should tell me to hang it up and stop doing this. This is week 35 of doing this. Season 4 ends at week 35. We will have four weeks break. Uh, three weeks break, sorry, before we start creating wrestlers for the second, uh, for the fifth season of Sunday Afternoon Wrestling. If anybody in this chat is not subbed and is enjoying what they're seeing, please consider dropping a sub in the chat, filling out a form, and getting yourself a wrestler so that you too can be a part of something special for season five. I'm not a king, McFubal. I just do as much... And as I put as much effort in as I possibly can. I put as much effort as I possibly can. I love you, Tempe. Thank you, dude. You love this. Thank you, King, King Cooper. Alicia's turning heel. Starfjord earn his way here. Remember, we're all playing characters during this. Who's bullying who, Alicia? Who's bullying who? Was anything even said? Jesus. Staffjord, let's let's focus on the wrestling guys. I was just saying Here comes Sam Chris. You know what? Let's let's move on. All right, move on. We get we're, we're, we're doing Sam Chris's entrance right now. Sam Chris and Starfjord. Sam Chris, the number one most popular man in Sunday Afternoon Wrestling. That's because Sam Chris is stunning. Mister can't hold a belt. That's true. 
Sam Chris is does have a problem holding on to titles. Sam Chris is a stunner. Yeah, Lavatar got it right. Lavi, are you ready for your main event, Lavi? Introducing the challenger from Denmark, weighing in at 284 pounds. <coughs> Excuse me. Starfjord, the challenger, won his way to this matchup at night one of TNC. Sunday afternoon wrestling TNC Mania. Newcastle upon time, England, weighing in at 294 pounds. He is the internet champion, CM Chris. CM Chris. Now we must point out, CM Chris is not a true Triple Crown winner. He is a singles championship Triple Crown winner. We'll give him that. If Starfjord beats CM Chris here tonight, he becomes a true Triple Crown winner as he won the tag team titles, the sellout title, and it would be the Twitch title. Oh no, he has to win a world title, doesn't he? Forget what I just said. Forget it all. F it. We'll do it live. CM Chris pushes Starfjord back to the corner. Neck breaker by Starfield. Starfield sign off hard. Double axe handle to the back. Kick to the midsection. Sam Chris is struggling after a hard fought match against Bluey. Bluey was busted open, was bloodied. Sam Chris is getting demolished by Starfield. Starfield had a hell of a match himself. He came down to Tempesti, the big Belgian brute, and Starfield. Staffield came out on top after so many spears. Sam Chris now comes back with a clothesline over the top rope and now starts pounding away the brawler that is CM Chris, the most popular man in Sword, just gets big booted. And now, powerbomb on the outside. Powerbomb to the outside. Staffjord playing hard in the paint. Look at the Staffjord. Staffjord. Could be another champion here by the end of this matchup. Three different championship reigns during Sunday afternoon wrestling season four. As season four comes to an end, will it be a third championship reign or will CM Chris keep a hold of gold for the first time? CM Chris is getting covered now by Staffield. There's a cover one. Hooks the outside leg. It's a one count only. CM Chris getting the crowd to rally behind him. He moves out of the way of that kick. And now he's going for a back suplex. And spin out into a crossbody by Staffjord. Staffjord, the most pound for pound strongest man potentially in the TNC. Kick out by CM Chris. Staffjord is obsessed with the fact of having championship belts. What's up, GT Ballistic? There's a snake breaker. To Sam Chris. Sam Chris of Rage is struggling in this matchup. He is not 100% after yesterday's bueling, grueling matchup against Bluey. Elbow to the trapezius muscles. Both sides. Throws him down to the mat. Starfjord now. Stalking. Sam Chris is going to go for a spear. The first spear of the match. Will it be the first and only? It connects. And he says that's all. CM Chris has just not got out the blocks here. He goes for the cover, hooks the outside leg. One, two. CM Chris kicks out. Starfield actually can't believe it. I, I, I give CM Chris more credit than that. CM Chris deserves more credit than that as he gets stalked by Starfield. Starfield's going to go for that jackhammer, I believe. He's pulling him in. He lifts him up. Jackhammer to the mat. CM Chris, not this way. One. Two. Sam Chris somehow manages to kick out. Ram in the arm. Sam Chris. I am planning on doing it midnight, yes. One. Kick out. 
It, as long as it is midnight, it comes out and not 5 a.m. Gears. If it's 5 a.m. it comes out, I'll just get up early and start streaming it on March 8th. Big knee to the chest of Sam Chris. Sam Chris Lou trips the leg of Safio. This is Sam Chris's moment. Sam Chris's opportunity. Side headlock. Sam Chris working it, working away at Staffjord. Sam Chris gets rolled through into a side headlock by Staffjord. Staffjord just wrenches on the arm, hits a couple of right hands, big right hands. Tries to pull in Sam Chris. Sam Chris now getting Irish whipped to the corner, face first, close lines on the back. Sam Chris, Sam Chris is out on his feet. This is this is a slaughter. Ladies and gentlemen. Shot to the midsection by Sam Chris. One to the face. Sam Chris slowly coming back. Lufez press. Pissing right hands. Firing away on Staffjord. And now Sam Chris. And Staffjord slowly gets to his feet. Kick. Stunner. Is that enough? Go for the cover, Chris. The fans are behind you. The referees from Wish. One. Two. See, uh, CM Chris does not get the job done. Look at look at CM Chris bringing in the adulation of the fans. Close line, close line. He ducks one from Southyard. Comes back with a jumping close line. CM Chris, look at the fans going absolutely crazy. The TNC universe comes alive for CM Chris. Lufez press, piston right hands, over and over and over again. He stomps on Staffield, goes for the cover, that, that's not going to do it, I'm afraid, too. Staffield kicks out, as expected. Chris is stalking Staffield, is it going to be another stunner? Tim Chris kick, ah, oh, but he gets pushed away, Staffield had it scouted. Staffield could come back with a spear now, oh, but he's caught, oh! Look at, look at the ropes. CM Chris got caught. Spine buster. Devastating maneuver. Oh my God, CM Chris is out. CM Chris kicks Safiot off. CM Chris was playing possum. He was playing possum. He rams the head of Safiot off the canvas over and over again. The dog tags flying everywhere. Now the trapezius muscle nerve hold locked in on Staffjord. Staffjord trips the leg. Look at that, that was forceful. You don't expect anything less from Starfjord, the man from Sweden, Denmark, Norway, somewhere. Ramming the head of Sam Chris ten times off of the uh, top turnbuckle, Sam Chris collapses to the mat, and now Starfjord, Starfjord's, Sam Chris, you gotta be ready for this one, Sam Chris, you gotta be ready for this one, he pulls him in, I know where he's from, Lavi, it's a joke, uh, Jackhammer coming, Jackhammer City, one, two, three. Oh, right at the death. CM Chris comes alive. Stomp to the midsection. And a gut wrench suplex coming. Just throws him over the top of him. CM Chris rolls to the outside. Wise, the champion, needs to take a breather. I'll tell you what, I need to take a breather after this action that we've been calling here tonight. We have had... 10 matches so far. This is match 11. Starfjord, where's he going? Starfjord, where are you going? Starfjord gets back in the ring. Starfjord just gave a look to the referee. Like, what do I got to do to put away this man and win this, this Twitch championship? <laughs> look at CM Chris. Ever the, the, the ladies man, CM Chris. Ever the, the people's champion, CM Chris. Back body drop. By Staffjord. Team Chris rolls to the outside. Staffjord runs. Oh, he gets caught with an Izaguri. Team Chris gets back in the ring. But he gets caught. Scoop. Fall away slam. CM Chris looks out. He goes for the cover. That could be enough. The referee runs all the way around. One, two, kick out. And there you go, Staffjord says that's all again. Look at him shaking his head. He's a man possessed. 
possessed by the quest for gold. Digital Deluxe Edition. Lufez Press! Lufez Press and the piston right hands. And now Stafio's busted wide open. See him, Chris has come alive. He comes off the ropes. Bionic elbow to, to Stafjord. Stafjord, is he going to get hit by the stunner? Is he going to get hit by the stunner? You know this is what's coming. Kick. No, Stafjord pushes him away. No, I couldn't afford the extra 20 quid for the NWO one. Lavatar. Just for, just for four costumes. It's not worth it. What's up, Nebgen? Welcome. How you doing, buddy? See him, Chris, with the cover. Kick out. I am broke as a joke, Lavi. Sam Chris picks up Staffjord. Punch to the face. Club to the back. Club to the back. Double axe handle. Double axe handle. Staffjord collapses to the floor. <laughs> I love Sam Chris. Everybody loves Sam Chris. He clamors to the fans. The fans love him. He is the bionic redneck. From Newcastle upon time. He goes up top. He jumps off. Elbow, but he misses. Staffjord. Staffjord, this is your opportunity. If you're going to win this Twitch championship, you got to put him away now. Ragdoll Sam Chris off the ropes. Now, Sam Chris, you've got a counter. You've got a counter. Staffjord's going to pull you in. You know this is what's coming. Jack Hammer, what goes up must come down. Jack Hammer, and that's all she wrote. Ladies and gentlemen, CM Chris cannot hold on to a title. He can hold on to a title. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? This has been as back and forth as you'd expect from two of the TNC's finest. Two TNC greats. The multi-dollar businessman of season three. The current Starfjord Goldfjord of season four. Versus the most popular man in Saw. Right hand from Staffjord. This, I think what this is going to come down to is what happens on the outside of the ring right here. See him, Chris's head got smashed against the ringside. The ring apron now. That's the hardest part of the ring, folks. Into the ring goes CM Chris. Up to a count of six, Staffjord gets back in the ring. Staffjord stomps away. Double axe handles to the back. And now Starfjord grabs the legs. Sam Chris kicks him off. Sam Chris with a big boot. Well, kind of a big boot. Maybe a medium boot. <coughs> Nebgen, if you want to be a part of this, son, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel, fill out the SAW form, and you too can be a wrestler in Season 5 of the Sunday Afternoon Wrestling when WWE 2K22 drops on March 8th. Nebgen. You've been around for a while. Get that sub going. Stunner! CM Chris. Is he going to do it? Is he going to do it? Ladies and gentlemen. Staffield's out. One. Two. <laughs> what a match. What a match. Oh, Staffield kicks CM Chris away. Kicks to the midsection. Double underhook. Butterfly suplex. Sam Chris is out. One. Two. The fight. The pride. The will to survive. The heart of a champion. See him. Oh, Sam Chris is getting stalked. You know what's coming. Is it Jack Hammer? Is it Spear? He pulls him in. Sam Chris kicks him in the midsection. That's what you needed to do, son. Close on over the top rope. YK Honorable is gifting the sub to Neb Jen. Little Dick by YK Honorable. Neb Jen, welcome to the TNC. YK, you are the man of the hour. Too sweet to be sour. Funky like a monkey. And the brand new TNC champion. That was a hard hit. I heard that all the way from up here in the commentary booth. Right in TNC headquarters. Right hands by Starfjord as he pounds away. on seeing Chris spinning back kick. You also gifted us up. What, to Neb Jen, Jenny? Did it, did it just not go to them, Jen? Jenny, I don't know. Maybe maybe it didn't get charged. I doubt it would have got charged if it, if it went through. 
Slow Fez Press by CM Chris. CM Chris can get the pin here. Stafford's bloody. He's broken. He's a mess. CM Chris, though, cannot, cannot capitalize. Thank you so much for the gifted sub, YK. Get your get your sword character filled out, never gen. Kick! Stunner! That's it. That's it. Please. Please put an end to this. Starfjord gets the ropes. CM Chris, what are you doing, son? You know. You know. You have got the, what, the ring IQ of a mastermind, CM Chris. You do not go for a cover rope by the ropes. CM Chris. Stalking. Starfjord. Starfjord comes back. Arm ringer. Short arm clothesline. Damn, Chris with a back body drop. Off the ropes with a bionic elbow. Damn, Chris. Put this one to bed, son. A stomp to the midsection. A stomp to the arm. Cover. One. Two. Staffjord. You talk about the heart of CM Chris. The popularity of CM Chris blinds a lot of people. But Staffjord has put in a shift tonight and at night one of TNC Mania. Staffjord breaks out. European uppercut. Comes in. Big boot. Oh, what a big boot. CM Chris though picked up. Back out. Oh, I thought there was going to be a back elbow there. I, was, I, almost, I almost called it before it happened. I could have seen it. I saw it coming. CM Chris though. It's kicked Staffjord away. Stumps to the back. Picks up. Lufez press again. Staffjord is. Come on, Staffjord. You gotta be out now. This match will never end. He pulls. CM Chris pulls Staffjord into the center. That's gotta be it. A cover off the Lufez press and the piston right hands. Two. What? Staffjord being stalked by CM Chris. We, we should have had a stunner counter because we just got one more. We just got one more, and CM Chris learning from his previous mistake. Paul Staffjord in the center of the ring. I thought I heard the Booker man say, pin him, Cooper, pin him. Tomorrow you will get your pay, but for now you've got to pin him. CM Chris does the impossible. CM Chris defended his championship gold. Congratulations, CM Chris. As a reminder, we are going to see footage of Cooper the Dragon's training regimen. Cheese. CM Chris, a champion of the people and a champion among everybody here in the TNC. Kirby, let me in. Kirby, I want inside you. What? CM Chris, just celebrating with his fans. Hard fought victory. Hell of a slobber knocker. What a great showing by Sam Chris and Staffjord for that matter. Staffjord back to no belts. No belts, Staffjord. As a reminder, the Vibe Tribe aren't that way here. But here is what Cooper the Dragon has been doing training for TNC Mania. That's right, Copper Dragon, Cooper the Dragon, one half of the Zubaz Pals. I have been training non-stop in these Arctic conditions to be ready to face the Tug Pals. I am ready. I hope they are ready. Let's go. Let's go.
I can't feel my feet. <laughs> Thank you, Flute. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate the uh, compliment. Alrighty. Tag Team Championship on the line. The Vibe Tribe versus the Booker Man and Coops. The ever-present TNC Tag Team Champions. Booker Man and Coops defending against the Vibe Tribe. And here they go with the Hacker once again. And you know, when they say vibe, you say tribe. Vibe. <laughs> vibe. Vibe. Wahoo! The vibe tribe. Coming off of two wins in a row after losing seven. They've had nine matches as a tag team. They've won two out of nine. Will they make it three out of ten in this tag team title match? Digimike and the onesie bandit, Mellow Vibes. Two fan favorites going up against the booking committees, Booker Man and Coops. Definitely the most despised faction in all of TNC Sunday Afternoon Wrestling. They have held the TNC Tag Team Gold pretty much all season long with an iron fist. And there they are, the Booker Man and Coops, the Zubaz Pals. Nero Classic says, keep it classy. The Book of Mania is running wild. Hoop says, J-O-B just over broke. They don't just set the bar. They are the bar. The Book of Man was on a bus today. And said a few words. About the impending match that he had against Tug Bears. And he said that there's a world of hurt coming. Towards whoever won out of the Brotherhood and Vibe Tribe. Vibe Tribe won. Very one-sided match, we must say. But how? How will they fare? Against the ever-present Tag Team Champions. The Booking Committee. Booker Man and Coops. Good night, Tempesti. I love you, man. Have a good one, dude. Uh, if it didn't, I don't know, Jenny. Um, I will have a look. I'll have a look, okay? Let me check my dashboard. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 390... It, just, it doesn't say. Maybe you did it at exactly the same time and it's just messed up. I don't know, Jenny. The Vibe Tribe. Fan favorites here in the TNC. Fan favorites all around the world. I appreciate you wanting to support Jenny and, and doing that. I really do. It means a lot to me. I appreciate you all for, for helping me out. Get me over 150 subs today. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, you've got to, like... You, well, you've got till your sub runs out, I guess, Nevergen. Northern Light Suplex by Wawanzi Bandit on Cooper the Dragon. Irish whip to the corner of the Vibe Tribe. Copper bounces out and gets caught with a fisherman suplex. It looks like perfect plex, if you will. 
Kappa gets picked up. They lock up. Kappa with the side headlock. Side headlock take over by Copper Dragon. Copper Dragon, the technical mastermind. Facing Mellow Vibes, the former sellout champion, we should say. He has held gold here in the TNC this season. Nip up into the side headlock again by Copper Dragon. He's working him up. Good night, Mum. Love you. Thank you for hanging out today. I really appreciate it. And thank you for subbing, Mum. Everybody say goodnight to Mumsy. Drop kick misses. Bulldog by Copper Dragon. Judo throw by Onesie Bandit on Copper. Copper makes a tag to the Booker Man. S single leg drop kick. Mello went for the drop kick themselves. Gets swatted away. DDT to Booker Man. Booker Man gets dragged over to the corner of the Vibe Tribe. Mello makes a tag to Digimike. Digimike, very athletic. We're still interrogating Flute? Yeah, we are. <laughs> Wrenching in the arm of Nero Classic. Digimite picks up the Booker Man. Spinning back kick. Booker Man catches it. Kicks the leg of Digimike. Goes for a snap man takeover. And chop to the back. Kick to the front. The Booker Man loves to follow this up with a sent on. But he decides not to. Hey, nice Jenny. DDT. Stomp to the midsection. Bookman gets up. He gets hit with a forearm. But look at him just shrug that off. And he fires one back at Digimike. Front face lock. Suplex. Snap suplex there by the Bookman. The Bookman is taking no S from Digimike and the Vibe Tribe today. Bookman goes over to his corner, tags in Coops. J-O-B just over broke. Cooper the Dragon! Cooper the Dra Coop Cooper the Dragon! Elbow drop. Fireman's carry by Digimike. This is the longest and most ex exhausting TNC show that I've done this season. Poison Runner! Oh my god, Poison Runner to Cooper. Cooper could be out. Uh, this is the most <laughs> exhausting TNC show that I've done all season. This is 14 straight matches of insanity that we have done here tonight. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. We've still got two more matches after this. A big grudge match, no disqualification match between Fallen Angel and Gears. And then the main event of TNC Mania. Lavatar defends his TNC Championship against YK Honorable, the Victory Royale winner. We have words from three of those four men coming up shortly. Hoop of the Dragon now. Irish whips Onesie Bandit into the corner of the Book of Man Coops. Onesie reverses, sends Copper Dragon, Cooper the Dragon, into the ref. The referee swats it away. And now... There's a tag to Digimon. Are we going to see some tag team continuity here from two of the best? Digimon with a drop kick to the back of the head. Are we going to see new tag team champions? Digimon and Onesie Bandit Mellow Vibes. Two great community members. There's a snap suplex there by Copper. Kind of rolls him through there, but Copper doing what he can. He pulls him in with the front face lock, swats him to the back of the head. Pulls him over to the corner of his tag team partner, the Booker Man. Slams his head on the top turnbuckle. And now we're going to see some tag team championship style offense. Nip up Hurricane Runner. Lovely maneuver there by Digimike. Digimike having the wherewithal to pull Nero TNC away from the ropes. But what's he going to do now? He's going over to his partner. He's tagging in Mellow Vibes. This is a very even matchup that we've had so far. Mello with the elbow drop straight to the chest. The uh, infected chest of the Booker Man. Get to the midsection. And the Super Brain Buster. Oh my goodness. You do not see Brain Busters like that very often these days due to the danger that they possess. And there's the Frog Splash. Feeling froggy. It's the Onesie Bandit 1. 
Two, Copper Dragon breaks up the pinfall for his team. Copper Dragon getting grabbed and Saito suplex for his troubles. And the onesie bandit is just sitting down. This is all fun and games for the onesie bandit right now. The ref got absolutely destroyed. Kicked to the back, but the Booker Man's getting up. The Booker Man's fired up. He grabs him belly to belly overhead style. And the onesie bandit rolls to the apron. The Booker Man has his hands held high. He's lucky. He did not lose the TNC Tag Team title. Shoulder thrust sends the onesie bandit to the floor. And now the Booker Man rolls out. And you know the Booker Man likes to do it dirty. Down, dirty, raw dog in it. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, sends Mellow Vibes back in the ring. Elbow to the head. Mellow gets to the rope. Booker Man comes off the top rope, completely misses. The referee gets taken out by a drop kick by Me Digi Mike. Oh, but the Inziguri takes out the Booker Man. And another drop kick takes out the Booker Man. Again, I said that off. Digi Mike going for the cover, but the referee's from Wish. One, two. Booker Man kicks out. Digi Mike getting the. The crowd going. The Vibe Tribe. You can hear the sheesh is from the crowd. As Digimike sends the Booker Man into the corner. Big knee lift. That was important. Irish whip to the corner. Digimike loves to put him up on the top. Go for that, that Spanish fly. Booker Man trying to fire him off. Couple of elbows to the head. That was dangerous elbows. Digimike still going for it. Spins the Booker Man around. The Booker Man fighting off again. DDT spiking him. Booker Man is stalking Digimite. Is he going to go for the Angel's Wings? The kick. Yes, this is the Booker Man's trump card. His ace in the hole. The Angel's Wings finishing maneuver. One. Digimite was saved by Mellow Vibes. DDT Cooper the Dragon Digimite went for a stomp Booker Man got out of the way Hits a single leg drop kick He's trying to hit Mellow Vibes Mellow Vibes gets out of the ring But D Digi is knocked out The Booker Man's going up top Is he thinking he's No he's not thinking Spiral Attack right The Dragon Attack No Four reigns right Gears Booker Man comes off with a double axe handle. Now the Booker Man goes to tag Cooper the Dragon. Cooper comes in the ring. Digimike is completely out of it. Irish went to the corner. Forearm to the face. Cooper comes back in the ring. Side rushing leg sweep. Now ramming the head of Digimike up against the mat. This has been TNC Mania. Mellow Vibes breaks up the pin attempt. Mellow gets hit. No, back elbows. Copper. Copper cannot be liking that. Copper pounds on his chest. Goes for the right, right hand. And another one. Copper goes to the corner. Bounces from one corner to another. Forearm. And the Bulldog. And Copper's all fired up. I thought you were, or, or, or Tempesti was creating it for you, Larby. Papa gets swatted away by Digimike, who clotheslines the heck out of Cooper, the dragon. Digimike sends Copper into the corner. Leads to the midsection. The Booker Man is getting admonished by the referee. That distraction was enough for Copper to take Digimike out with a swinging neckbreaker. Dragon Sleeper on. Did you like? Oh, knee to the head. Nice, Lavi. Copper being turned around. Kick off by Copper. 
match is sort of breaking down to a certain extent here. Digimike is definitely going for that Spanish fly time and time again. He's been thwarted. Is this going to be one of those times? The Booker Man is trying to get in the ring. The referee is admonishing him. But here comes Digimike. He's going up top. Single man. Spanish fly. It connects. Copper sent flying. What's Digimike going to do? Is he going to tag Mello? He has tagged the onesie bandit. Onesie bandit now. Has got to do something here. Oh, Copper got out of it. What's... No. No. He's going for the three amigos. The... Th Un, deux, trois amigos. That's not how it goes, but... <laughs> Making myself laugh. TSC Mania has got me delir delirious, delusional. Onesie Bandit going up top. The Booker Man's following him in. The Booker Man tried to grab him. Miss. Frog Splash goes for the cover. One. Two! Booker Man saves! Was that a two? Yeah, that was a two. Hurricane Rana. Jawbreaker by, the, uh, by Cooper the Dragon. Cooper the Dragon pulls Onesie Bandit in for a hellacious neckbreaker. And now Cooper's stomping. He's going to go for the Claymore. Claymore! Claymore Country! One, two, and Digimite breaks it up for the Vibe Tribe. Digimite gets out of the ring. Cooper is threatening Digimite. What's he doing? He's rolling to the outside. Oh, he gets back in. Cooper the Dragon's losing it. He's losing it. Jawbreaker. Kick. Onesie Bandit. How's he going to do this? With the damage that has been done to Onesie Bandit, comes off the top rope with an arm drag. Onesie Bandit and the Vibe Tribe. They've got to take this opportunity while the Booker Man's out to take him down. Close on, close on. Drop kick. The Booker Man's back up to his feet, though. Mello with the suplex is going for the I'm Spy Dry Amigos. You can't go to bed. Not before your main event match. One. Two. Cooper kicks out. Drop kick to the spine. Padre Bolt. How's it going, man? Fair, Lavi. Fair, I understand. Cooper fighting out of that camel clutch maneuver. Trips the leg of Mellow Vibes. Copper's got to make a tag. He opts not to. Punch to the face of Mello. Spins him around. Mello. There's a tag to the Booker Man. And now Mello gets sent into the feet. And now Mello is juiced. The Booker Man has busted open with a onesie bandit. Onesie bandit. Did you mark distracted the onesie bandit? Booker Man pulls him in with an overhead belly to belly. Onesie Bandit is just completely out of it. What's the Booker Man doing here? Right hand. German. Full, uh, full nuts. <laughs> God damn it. Dragon Suplex. Now the Straight Jacket German. Cover. One. Two. Mellow kicks out. Onesie Bandit kicks out. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm losing it right now. It's been a long day. Been a long stream. Spinning heel kick by the onesie bandit. TNC Mania. I didn't think it would it'd be this successful. But it has been a hell of a day. I really appreciate everybody for being here. Let's keep the hype going. Let's keep the momentum going. Let's keep the greatness going. With the onesie bandit getting destroyed by the Booker Man and Coops right now. Oh, deja vu. Good night, Lavi. Armbringer takes down Mello. Now the Bookman's stalking the onesie bandit. Kick. Angel's wings coming. What? The rope break? The referee? 
What is going on? The kicks to the face. The mellow is going to be even more bloody than he was before. The bookman uses ace. The angel's wings. And unfortunately, the ropes thwarted the bookman's attempt to continue the dominant reign of the tag team champions. Mellow now back to his feet. Oh, what a high drop kick that was. The height of Mellow vibes there. Mellow. He's pulling him over. On the ropes. What's he thinking? Kick to the leg. Bookman grabs the leg. Takes him down. Right hand. German suplex. Dragon suplex. And the finale. The straight jacket German. One, two, three. Mello kicked out. Mello kicked out. The bookman's going up top. Is he thinking dragon attack? The maneuver that has seen him win many a match. The dragon attack. The bookman hit his ace in the hole. Digimike's in the ring. Digimike just destroyed the Booker Man, Coops, and the referee all at once. And this has given Mello the opportunity to hit a European uppercut. He's sending him off the ropes. Slides through the legs. Hits a Hurricane Rana. Perfect precision. Once he bandit runs around. This is it. This is it. The Booker Man's out. Mello's going up top. Frog splash. Cooper the Dragon's out of it. The cover. Onesie Bandit's going to do it. One. Two. Oh, the Booker Man kicked out. This was our chance, Cooper. This was our chance to get rid of the titles. But what happened? What happened, man? Digimike is in the ring. Booker Man kick makes attack to Copper Dragon. Right hand. Right hand. Digimike taking... All he's got behind those right hands. Big forearm taking down Cooper the Dragon. And now Digimon going up top. Is he thinking shooting star press? Oh, the knees were up. Copper had it scouted. Knocked down. Knocked down. Yeah, my voice is shot already. Now, Digimike runs up to the top rope, spins out Sonado DDT. Cooper the Dragon picked up by Digimike. <laughs> Digimike going for that Spanish fly once again. Spanish fly! TNT Mania has lasted almost as long as actual WrestleMania lasts. Spanish fly, could that be enough? Oh, Cooper! Cooper just does not learn. He just does not know how to give up, does Cooper the Dragon. Cooper's busting down. The elbows to the head. This is the Vibe Tribe's best match ever. The Vibe Tribe has had their best showing ever right here in this matchup. They have got all the momentum in the world. Digimike and Mello need to put this one to bed if they want to be TNC Tag Team Champions, which they deserve to be after the performance they've put in tonight. Cooper the Dragon and the Booker Man obviously have put in a performance equal in that. They have been ever since they teamed together at the start of Season 4. This is what it's all about. The TNC Tag Team Titles. Cooper the Dragon. Don't give up. Cooper gives up. We have new Tag Team Champions. New Tag Team Champions. Copper Dragon submits. The Vibe Tribe. After 203 days. Put an end to the Bookerman and Coop's reign of terror over the TNC tag team titles. Congratulations, Digimike. Congratulations, Mellow Vibes. The onesie bandit. This is what you dream of when you become a tag team. You dream 
of being a tag team champion with your homie, with your vibe tribe. They the ones. The vibe tribe have done it. <coughs> Excuse me. All titles have switched hands, have they? Apart from the TNC title. Is that what's coming? Up next we have words from our competitors in this next bad blood match between Gears and Fallen. Okay, sorry guys. I'm a bit behind. See you later, Mama of Disney. At TNC Mania Gears, I'm coming for a fight. Not a match, but a fight. Over the friendship you've shattered, over the bond of brotherhood that you've broken, and quite frankly, for the respect that you've lost by sucking up to the Booker Man and destroying our partnership. I want no disqualifications. I want no count out. I just want your ass to show up. I've achieved everything I can here in the TNC universe. I've held titles. I've won big matches. And now I'm not coming to win. I'm not coming to lose. I'm just coming for your blood. That's all I want. I'm going to lay you out. Whether I have my hand raised at the end, I don't know. But the real victory is watching you bleed. Okay, and Gears responded to Fallen. With a very long promo, which some of it doesn't even make sense now because he didn't win the Twitch title thing. So, what a season it has been, and what a season it has been for me. Quite frankly, I don't think there's anyone in the TNC that's been more successful than yours truly. You see, I've added two TNC championships to my record. I became a fairly decent sellout champion, which is a third rate bell, and it was just me taking a break from what I truly am, and that's the main event of TNC, wherever I might be on the card. And we have just one event left of Season 4, TNC Mania, the most stupendous two-night, the final frontier, the grand alley of them all, the, I'm, I'm getting carried away. You see, what's special about me is I've got myself into two matches in TNC Mania, and anyone with any intelligence will know that that's three matches at TNC Mania, making me the must-see person at TNC Mania, and the workhorse of them all. Let's start with the first match, then. The Fatal 4-Way for title shot at the Twitch title. You know, what's special about that first title that I ever won? It was the Twitch Championship, and that strapped a rocket to me. It pushed me into the true ace of this company. You know, people laughed at me before I won that. <laughs> but the things I did with it. Three people standing before me. Someone I've already talked about who is an absolute fraud. A guy who has... How many belts does he have? Oh, he has no belts. And a guy who, quite frankly, has no words that can make me go quiet anymore. Because come night one. <laughs> I won't need to break a sweat. I'll win that match. Face CM Chris, who I match. know is going to win later on in the night. He did win that match. And I'll become a two-time Twitch champion. He didn't do that. And who else? Who else is a two-time Twitch champion? Oh, that's right. 
the person I'm facing on night two. He said a lot of things, you know, I haven't really bothered listening to him because when he gets going, he talks a lot of crap. But let's just, let me talk about my side, what I think of him. It's true that me and him have gone at it for years, we fight forever, and maybe we'll fight more, but we'll get to that. You know, I've tied with him a couple of times, and I know he's upset that I dropped him. But all I gotta say is, well, I dropped dead weight. You know, I dropped him because while me and him were still trying to become tag team champions, we tried to stop the Booker Man and Coop from winning, and he ended up winning. I already made myself a three-time TNC champion, and at the time that was the most that anyone had. I don't care what he says about being a Grand Slam champion, because not even that is unique to anymore. I mean, last week we saw Trex win, and now he's a Grand Slam. I don't care if he's the first. The first doesn't mean best. But I'll give him credit. You know, the Grand Slam shows that he can be good around the board. But me? I've been able to be at the top more times than he will ever be. A lot of people will agree with me. He's old news. He loses to the new people, and he puts shame to the veterans in the locker room, because he can't keep up anymore. Look, we respect him. We think the contributions he's done to the TNC is just great, and, and, and it's pushed TNC forward. But, you know, now all I see is someone, someone that who's like The Undertaker in his last years. But when he walks into the ring, it is just sad. It's sad to see him wrestle. You wish that he was just like he was in the past, but he just isn't. And you know it's time that he just hangs it up and leaves the ring for good. So it comes to my match against him. And I think it's a mission now. I think it's time that we retire him. Yeah. I think enough is enough. Time for the new and younger people to rise up and take his spot. Like I said, Fawn, I absolutely respect you. I think you're great. I think you've done a lot. But please, it is time for you to go. And you know what? He can talk all what he wants in his promo. He can use all the foul language he wants. But like I said, I've set a mission for night two. Fawn, I'm going to take a page out of your book. You're absolutely... And I think it's time to put you out of your misery and end this. Take you around back like old Jella and end it. When I beat you, or even destroy you, I don't want you walking into season 5. I want you gone. For the good of all wrestling. See you Sunday. <laughs> it made me laugh when he said this promo is going to be longer than, than the match. It is a hell of a match that we have right now, ladies and gentlemen. It's a no holds barred. Gears versus Fallen. The grudge match is here. It's time to put this one to bed. Former Wrestling Inc. Going at it. We've got two matches left. There he is in his Dior suit. The booking committee member, Gears. Oh, that's longer than Zack Ryder's push. Making his way to the ring from Edinburgh, Scotland. Weighing in at 260 pounds, TNC Ace. And here you go, the TNC Ace. Blow in the pyro budget as per usual. He is making his way to the ring. This is the massive grudge match. The Vibe Tribe won the tag title, Scooper. The reign of terror that the Booker Man and Coops had over the tag division is over. The Vibe Tribe going to season five as TNC Tag Team Champions.
And here comes Fallen. Ready to settle the score. Putting Wrestling Inc.'s story to bed. The Anarchist Fallen Angel asks this if you got blood. He has that mask on. To strike fear in his enemies. And he's going to do that right now with Gears. As he raises his hand high in the air. Fallen Angel the Anarchist. Fallen Angel, the first Grand Slam champion in TNC history. He's done it all here in TNC Sunday Afternoon Wrestling. He is the veteran. He is the conscience. He is the TNC outlaw. Gears comes running in with a knee to the midsection. That seems to hurt Gears. And a spine buster. And Anderson like spine buster. Cover straight away on Gears. What? Kick out at one. Gears shakes the cobwebs off. Fallen now. Was referenced to be like Old Yeller by Gears as he gets ragdolled off the ropes. The man from Generation X, he says. Pounding away on Gears. The Irish whips. The TNC ace. Clothesline to the back of the head. This is TNC Mania Night 2, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost at the end. Of TNC Season 4. We will have a TNC Season 4 retrospective. At the end of the show. Be sure to stick around for that. We have the main event. Coming at you like Cleopatra. But this. Number 1 contenders for the TNC title. No holds barred match. Is underway. Fallen picks up gears. Gears, with the quickness advantage, manages to evade whatever Fallen was going for there and takes him down with a lariat. Dragon screw leg whip by Fallen Angel, however, puts the tide back in his favor. Fallen Angel throws Gears over the top rope. Gears holds on. Right hand knocks Fallen, uh, Gears to the floor. Fallen follows him outside the ring. Remember, this is no holds barred, no count outs, no rope breaks, I believe. Fallen with a big boot, Saito, as uh, a uh, Sabat kick, sorry, Sabat kick. Fallen with the right hand, he gets blocked, Gears with the right hand himself, a kick for the midsection, a single leg drop kick. Forearm. Gears gets rammed into the ring post. Remember, this is all legal, as Gears gets thrown into the ring post again. No holds barred in this matchup, this grudge match. Gears and Fallen, they have been fighting forever. This match can only be won by pinfall or submission inside the ring. But weapons are allowed. There is no holds barred. Submission on the outside. Gears with a kick to the midsection. DDT to the outside. Gears trying to fight back now. Kick to the midsection. Goes for another kick, misses. <coughs> Excuse me. Fallen back in the ring. Right hand. Fallen grabs him. Tour of the Islands. Goes straight for the cover. Fantastic maneuver. Fallen with the cover. Gears kicks out. Don't be silly, Eagles. Fallen went for the stomp. Gears kicks out. Kicked. DDT. The fans not enjoying what they're seeing from Gears right now. Fallen. Looking like an old man as he gets up. Slowly. But that old man is kicking some serious ass when it comes to Gears and the TNT 8. Some brain buster. Fallen Angel. Is he going to go for it? The kick. 
Package pile driver. Goes for the cover. Referee's down. One, two, three. Fallen is your number one contender. No holds barred. He didn't need no weapons. He didn't need nothing. He just did what Fallen has always done and put Gears to bed. Keep it classy. Fallen has done what he said he was going to do. Apart from make Gears bleed, I guess. And up next is your main event, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we've all been building towards. Who will face Fallen Angel at TNC Season 5, Day 1? Fallen Angel. The number one contender. I agree, Giz. I agree. Okay. We have one last promo for the day. One last promo. This time, YK Honorable speaks for the first time. Larvitard. Harvard Blow. Damn, this is hard. It doesn't matter because it's Sunday at TNC Mania. You're going to see why the icon, YK Honorable, deserves this title shot. How many times? How many times? How many times did they try to strip me from what is rightfully mine? Huh? Can anybody answer that? It doesn't matter how many times. Because like I said, when I step into that ring, I'm going to show you why. There should have been no question. No question at all. Is he good enough? <laughs> Does he uphold his contractual obligations? <laughs> it doesn't matter because I show and prove time and time again. Name one, name one person who was able to do the job. How many people did you send after me? Countless times to try to strip me from my title shot. And then they wanted to drop me from the roster. Well, guess what? I'm like an inch that can't be scratched. I'm like that roach that runs in the corner and can't be stepped on. You cannot put me down. And this Sunday, when Larvitar steps in the ring, or whoever my opponent may be, I'm gonna show you why you can't kill an icon. Very. Very good promo from YK Honorable. YK Honorable and Lavatar, your TNC Mania main event begins now. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, the TNC Championship is on the line. This is your Victory Royale winner, YK Honorable. Appreciate the support, Lavi. I want to thank everybody for being here with me today. We're almost at five hours of wrestling streams. That is as long as our natural WrestleMania. This is TNC Mania, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've enjoyed it. Night one was fantastic. Night two, just as good. We are about to cap it off. With the TNC Championship on the line. The Booker Man. Nero Classic. Nero TNC. The Color Commentator. The Play-by-Play -play Guy. The Boss. 
the king of the TNC roster, says thank you for everything. Absolutely everything. Why can't I roll? Not the most popular figure here in the TNC. But you have to respect the fact that he defended his title shot. That he earned himself by winning the Victory Royale match. He earned this title shot. He defended this title shot. They tried to take it from him. The Booker Man tried to take it from him. But he kept it. Is he going to make good on his promise to be TNC champion? Here comes the champ. Now he spits the water through his mask. TNC champion Lavi won the title at TNC Isolation Chamber. We need to take a moment to respect those that have been hit with the future endeavors. YK can stop all that. Can stop that future endeavors coming his way with a win against Lavi here tonight. YK has been battling management since day one. Lavi is a three time TNC champion. Or is it four time? Gears, tell me the stat. All time thank you gears it's been a hell of a night This is going to be the big one. You can see YK is ready on the outside. Lavi is all business as per usual. This. This is a situation Lavi's been in before defending the TNC Championship. The big gold melted Easter egg belt for Nero TNC.TV. The TNC Championship is on the line. YK, the challenger, getting some cheers. Introducing the champion from Leeds, England. Weighing in at 200 pounds, he is the world champion. There he is. Super smooth Lavatar. We're about to see who comes out of TNC Mania and into Season 5 as champion and the leader of the locker room. Game volume kind of low. Lavatar firing off at YK. YK the bigger of the two. YK fires back with a right hand himself. Charlie Horse and YK. Lavi. Lavi's going for a submission. A figure four leg lock of sorts right now. YK is in agony.
jumping on the arm of YK. Doing some serious damage to that arm. YK looks to utilize the cutter off the ropes with a crossbody. Perfect crossbody from Lavatar. YK didn't see it coming. A cover. One. One count kick out. YK has fought his way here. Battled his way. Lavi earned his championship in the most grueling of matches. The Elimination Chamber. The Isolation Chamber. We don't call it Elimination. We call it Isolation. A clothesline to the back of the head of Lavi. And YK is finally getting some offense in. He pulls Lavatar into the center of the ring. And a knee smash. Cover. Kick out by Lavi before anything gets countered there. Stomping away now. YK Horrible goes to pick up Lavi. Lavi trucks the leg. Lavi picks up YK. YK fired into the corner. And a close on to the back of the head. This time to YK. It's a feeling out process early in this matchup. That kick to the back just angered YK as he goes around the world and nails Lavatar with a DDT. YK picks up now. Going for the... What? What the... Air Raid Crash! That kind of went a bit messy. Kick out. Lavatar nips up. That's, that's a big move from Lavatar. Off the ropes. Polar Bears! Polar Bears, thank you for the 22 months of subscription, love, hype, and friendship. That's almost a year. You, sir, the man of the hour, too sweet to be sour, funky like a monkey, and the brand new TNC champion. Thank you, Polar Bears. Much appreciated, man. How are you doing today? YK picks up Lavi. Lovely standing suplex. Did not fault that standing suplex right there. YK now sits Lavi up, wrenches on the neck and head area of Lavatar. Trying to pull that mask off, I would believe. If I knew YK, and I think I do. He goes for a kick. Another suplex attempt. Down to the knee. Patella to the knee. I mean, head to the patella. What am I saying? It's almost, no, it's almost a year. One. Two. Kick out by Lavi. That was close. That was very close. Lavi breaks the eyes of YK. Kick to the midsection. Goes for a DDT. But YK too strong. Great counter there by YK. Hey, Sonic and Lucy. How's it going? Knee smash. What was just explaining, Eagles? <laughs> Ramming the head of Lavi on the floor. Oh, no. YK pounding on the mat. You know what he's going for here. The RKO. The YKO. One. Two. Kick out by Lavi. YKO. And now he's doing the Ronnie Gavin stomp to the arm. Stomping away on the hand. Need of support. Going for the cover now. YK honorable. One. Two. Kick out. <laughs> YK. YK picks up what Lavi. Scoops him up. Spins him around. Grabs him. Air raid crash again. Look at the maneuver. The way he maneuvers the body of Lavatar. He did a little taunting before going for the cover. That's not the honorable thing to do. But he is going for the cover. And Lavi kicks out just about. Just before the free. YK. YK has put a hurting on Lavi. Lavi really needs something. He really needs a big move to come back to YK. If he wants to hold on to his TNC Championship gold. Lavi with the arm drag. He picks up YK. Forearm. Sends him into the ring. Oh, kidney shot. Kidney shot. Pissing blood for weeks is YK. Cover. Doesn't hook the leg. One. Kick out at one. Hook the leg, kid. Lavi setting up YK. Very sweet. Lavi music. Kick. Did it connect? 
One, two, kick out. YK, I don't think Lavi got all of that super kick. The sweet Lavi music. Sounds like Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff. Lavi bringing in the adulation of the fans. He hits the forearm, the nip up, the atomic drop, the scoop, and the slam. Lavi's got to go up top. I know he's going to do No, he didn't. He didn't do it. I thought he was going to go up top and go for that elbow. This time, he goes to take out the legs. YK, too strong, too powerful, too big. Look at the size differential that you have there. The YKO. YKO from out of nowhere. This is it. Lavi's championship reign is over. YK has done it. YK has climbed the mountaintop of the TNC. The victory royale. The defending of his title shot. And now he is TNC champion. Here at TNC Mania. YK did exactly what he said he was going to do. I hope you guys have enjoyed one hell of a night here on NeroTNC.tv. TNC Mania Night 1. TNC Mania Night 2, a resounding success for all involved. I cannot believe the action that we've had to call here tonight. I cannot believe the amount of support that the TNC Universe has received from you lovely people in the chat. I cannot believe that we now have a brand new TNC Champion in YK Honorable. Going into Season 5 with a championship. YK Honorable has done the unthinkable. What a night. And YK will be defending that title at TNC Day 1 against Fallen Angel. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a little bit emotional. This is the end of Season 4. 35 weeks plus, because I had to do all the creating as well. 35